Hey guys, uh, today uh, I have for you the review of the Fly 6094 um, A, um, an AR-01, or the replica AR-01 I should say. Um, Fly, as you may or may not know, uh, is kind of a replica gear company uh, made primarily for Airsoft. Uh, they're probably the best in the business um, for the price that they are um, and quality. Uh, I really have no complaints about any Fly product I've ever owned. Um, I went with this version, or the, the Fly 6094, over uh, an LBT 6094-A01 just because of the price difference. Um, it's a few hundred dollars, I think, um, if not more. Um, but anyway, on to the rig. Uh, your 6094 construction, um, It's the design of it, uh, I really like. Um, I love the plate carrier feel. Um, I like how it kind of wraps your whole up, wraps up your whole body um, instead of a chest rig, which is just up here. Uh, it just feels I don't like all the straps, all that stuff. Um, but anyway, um, the construction up here you got three rows um, of Velcro. This is the loop uh, style of Velcro. It's not the hook. You're not gonna scrape yourself on it, I guess, if you're worried about that. Um, anyway, these two bottom rolls, uh, these are mole, uh, the middle row is not, it's just a, uh, a solid line of Velcro. Um, so that you can put patches up there, obviously I have my Michigan patch. Um, another nice thing about the 6094 platform is that it has these kind of um, uh, diagonal uh, mole webbings, kind of weaved into the carrier, or not weaved in, sewn in. Um, and that is for push the talks and stuff like this. Um, you can hook them right there and it lines up the, uh, the push the talk channel so you can run it through a shoulder pad or uh, run it through one of these loops, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, so that's nice. Instead of having to hook it to a horizontal row and have the wire coming out here, it's just taking up space, um, just being annoying, uh, essentially. Um, Another part of the 6094 design, um, or a lot of carriers nowadays, uh, is you have this kangaroo pouch or insert area, um, and that is this tab. If you can see that, um, it's it's velcroed to the carrier. But if you pull this tab out, uh, you can, there's an inner kind of slot, and there you can put in um, more internal mag pouches um, if you want to be carrying more up front. Um, and you don't want the bulk of, say, uh, a double M4 pouch or something on the front. If you want to go prone, um, it helps out a lot. Um, right now, I have kind of an admin pouch in here. Uh, it's zippered. It's made for the Tag Banshee, but it fits in here perfectly. Um, you got your maps and all that fun stuff. Um, but it, it's, it's just a great feature. Um, it allows for a lot of versatility uh, and what you want to use for it. Want to use mags, maps, whatnot. Um, up here on the front, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rows of mole. Um, these outer rows, at least on this side for sure, um, and I'm guessing this side as well. You may be able to fit one through here, um, maybe through here. But these outer rows, they're kind of small. Uh, they're not the standard mole. Um, web size. I don't know if that's the correct terminology, but uh, so really you have six um, instead of your eight, which is plenty. You got three mag pouches up here. Um, you're holding plenty of magazines instead of four if you would have eight. Um, so anyway, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, cummerbund system. You take this up. Obviously, it's a lot. A lot of carriers are like this. Um, you have your your pull tabs on each of these um, cummerbund flaps, I'll say. So you just take that off and then you can take the plate carrier right on and off. Um, so it's easy downing and doffing if you want to get technical. Um, so again, nice cool feature of the LBT. Um, one thing that the standard 6094 does not have is a quick release system, um, like rigs like the CRAS. Um, or the Mayflower, or not Mayflower, sorry, LBT 
1694UW, I want to say, um, is kind of the quick release version. Um, and those, you have kind of a tab that you can just pull off if you fall into the water or something. A rig's dragging you down, or you just need to get out of a rig uh, quickly. You can pull that, and it'll essentially just disintegrate off your body. Um, so, I mean, it's in airsoft, there's not really a, a scenario that you're going to be falling into the water. Um, at least there's not a scenario that, it's not a very common scenario. Um, but it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, continuing on, on the inside of the cummerbund on each side right here, uh, you can see this little, uh, this paracord. Uh, this is uh, buttoned to this flap here. On the, in, on the inside it's kind of a radio pouch. Uh, you can fit magazines in there if you want. Um, I personally don't run anything in them. Um, I put a water bottle in one one time, but that was about it. Uh, just because I don't like the feeling of having something digging into my sides. Um, it's really not that obnoxious, but it's it's something I'm not used to, so I don't really like it, uh, essentially. Um, behind that, you have these two... Uh, let's see if I can get it here. Yeah. You have this pocket, um, and that is for if you want to run side plates. Um, or training plates for airsoft or real plates if you have them. Uh, but those can just be tucked away uh, if you're not going to be using that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, another nice feature about the uh, LBT, uh, like I was saying earlier, is he's got these uh, routing, these routing loops. Uh, these are actually for routing uh, comms wires uh, just to get them off the rig as well as a hydration tube. Um, it just kind of cinches everything down uh, so it's not in the way. Uh, you don't want to have wires coming up all over the place if you're going to shoulder a rifle and you can't get it up there, can't get it to the position you want because it's snagging on things. Um, so these really eliminate that uh, kind of hassle uh, that other carriers, that you find with some other carriers. Um, what else should I go over? Uh, the back panel, I'll just turn around real quick and show you. Uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about it. It's just kind of a standard large panel. Um, it's got a lot of mole on it. I want to say eight rows. I don't know though. I should have counted before, but I didn't. Um, and it also has a, a drag handle up top. The drag handle is uh, very high quality. Um, I've never dragged anyone away on it, but I'm guessing it could withstand, could withstand the abuse if you were to. Um, so anyway, I'll turn around and show you that real quick. Um, yeah, the back panel does have more of those routing tubes. I've forgotten if it had or not. Uh, so that's nice for routing more things. Um, construction on the fly. Uh, it's fantastic. The stitching is very nice. Um, for a replica gear company, it's about as best as you can get, in my opinion. I haven't tried things out like the uh, VGC or um, I can't remember the other name, but I can, I haven't tried out any of the other kind of higher end uh, replica gear companies. Pantac and Fly are essentially the same thing, um, in my opinion. Um, I tend to prefer Fly over them just because brand loyalty I guess uh, but they're they're both very nice um, but yeah stitching uh, quality of the fabric it's all fantastic uh, I ran this rig at Operation Northern Lights big lion claws game here in Michigan um, we, and we were going through uh, abandoned steel mills with rebar and metal sticking out um, we were running around laying in the dirt breaking through doors, uh, there was broken glass everywhere. Um, I, I know my rig caught on one or few, one or two things during the uh, weekend that I was there. Uh, so, and I mean, it's, it's held up perfectly fine, no snags or rips. Um, so yeah, oh, I think I forgot to mention, uh, this is, according to Fly, this is the Fly 1694A. Um, LBT has an A, a B, and a C version. Um, a is cut for your medium style plate. Um, 
or it's kind of your medium size. Uh, a B is a large size for a large plate, and then a C is an extra large size. Um, I don't know what size plates it have. I don't even know if there are extra large plates. Um, but again, this they say it's a 6094A, but it's actually cut uh, for kind of large plates. So it's really kind of a hybrid uh, between an A and a B, uh, with most people tending to say that it's more towards a B, um, uh, which I can agree with, I guess. Uh, I'm a fairly large guy. I'm around 5'11", uh, 190 pounds, um, kind of a, a football player build, if you will. And um, I had to, as you can see, I had to cinch these straps down uh, to get it to correctly fit um, where the plates are supposed to be um, for the real thing. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind if you're a smaller guy. Uh, this thing will kind of be large on you. You can adjust it and everything to fit it, fit it to your needs, but it's whether you want to do that, I guess, or not. Um, but yeah, going on to the shoulder straps. Um, you have these straps here, uh, which are, which run through the shoulder pad. Um, and these can be taken up and down to kind of cinch up the plate carrier, uh, lower it, uh, depending on how big you are, I guess, or how small you are. Uh, so that's a cool feature. It's a nice, nice little adjustment system. Most carriers have that, but figured I'd mention it. Um, there's not really a whole lot else to say about the carrier. Um, internal uh, compartments for plates. Nope, it's not working right now. But um, you have this kind of pull tab. Um, I don't know if it's technically a pull tab, but it's to help you kind of open up the plate pocket. Uh, to put plates in there if you want. Right now I just run cardboard in mine because I haven't gotten around to buy any, buying training plates. Um, but yeah, you can open it up, put whatever plates in there you want. Um, it's got a Velcro enclosure. The Velcro on this carrier is uh, very nice quality. Um, on the website I ordered it from, to Shooter CB Gear. I know some of you are going to ask me that. Um, stands for Shooter Combat Gear, by the way. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. I forgot. Um, oh yeah, okay. The Velcro, um, on the website it says that the Velcro can, like, last up to over a thousand uses. Um, I have noticed that this is a whole lot easier, um, than when I first got it. When I first got it, I really had to tug on it to open it up. Um, but I don't see it. I don't see the Velcro causing me any problems uh, in the near future or the late future, really. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions, comments, if I missed anything, um, I tried to do this while wearing it so you guys could see what it looked like on a person instead of just floppy on a table or something. Uh, so if you have any questions, comments, uh, go ahead and post them. Message me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that if you want to. Um, if you haven't liked my page on Facebook, uh, Carbona Airsoft Videos, go ahead and do that. On there I tend to tell uh, kind of updates, uh, why I haven't been putting up videos, what I'm about to put up, stuff like that. If I'm selling things, I'll post it on there. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to.